Welcome back to the hearing, Mr. Kamara. Okay. Okay. We're just waiting for interpretation. Yeah, he said it's okay. Um, I hope that you had a good lunch. Yes. I've had a good lunch and my stomach is filled up. That's what we like to hear. I left the wall and uh, that's what happened. <laughs> I would like to remind you that you're still under oath. Therefore, you <laughs> the interpreters have asked for a few seconds to make some changes. Yeah, some noise. The noise is still yeah, there. The noise is still yeah. there. Are we ready to proceed? No. This is for the interpreter. Are we ready to proceed? Yes, we can proceed now. Thank you. Um, Mr. Kamara, prior to the break, Mr. Kamara, how did you tell us about You told us that on the 10th of April, um, 2000, you were um, with the quick reaction force. Yes, we were with You were with the quick reaction force. At Farafenya Barracks. Farafenya La Sojar Cordato. When you were asked, well, when you were instructed by your commander to fall in. As I mentioned to you earlier, we are going to take it slow in order to understand everything that happened. Can you tell us what time the commander um, called the soldiers to assemble? Can you tell us the name of the commander um, that called you to fall in at um, Farafenya Barracks? Commander Tofonye, may I command you to fall in Farafenya Barracks? Atomu Babukar Sanya, Babukari Keta. His name is Babukar Keta. Can you tell us what his rank was at the time? He was a captain. So when he called the soldiers to assemble, um, fallen as you as you put it. Can you tell us how many um, soldiers assembled at that point. Well, the amount of soldiers who were there were, was about 31 of us. Can you tell us what um, Captain um, Babukar Keita said um, when you all assembled? After the fall in, he said, There was something happening in Makati. That means there was a demonstration in Makati. That's where we are going to. He told us. Did he provide you with any information about that demonstration? He didn't give us any information. He just told us, come and board this vehicle. Did he tell you who was demonstrating at Makati? He informed us that there were some students who are vandalizing things inside the town. 
Did he tell you in which areas the students were in Makati? It was at the school that this vandalizing was taking place. Did he tell you what he expected um, you to do upon arrival at Makati? Well, after the falling, he divided us into two groups, but we were all having guns, we were all armed. What I'm trying to understand is whether he gave you any instructions about what you should do when you arrive in Makati. In relation to the demonstration. He told us uh, when we reached at Makati, students are throwing stones, but nobody should uh, 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 take real bullets and shoot. We have blank bullets that we are going to use if necessary. You told us that the group that was waiting at um, Fajar, uh, Farafenya Barracks, the QRF force, had weapons. Can you tell us what kind of weapons you had? Those who assembled there were divided into two groups. Uh huh. Yo, many kata. Those going, I blank odi wolela. Are supplied with blank bullets. Kese kese tani waro. Each mole mo munding kese tani waro ba. Ah, many kata. Each one was given sixteen blank bullets. Who gave you those blank bullets? Kujumale wa blank bullets soldi. Na captain ni Babu Karketa. It was the captain Babu Karketa. Apart from the 16 blank bullets that each of you had, what other kind of um, ammunition did you have? Okay, when you are doing, going on duties, they give you live rounds. So we were also a month of live round on Fanali Babu Ali Bullebang. Ha, Ben Bulle, Oben Bulle. We were having in our possession live rounds which were also supplied to us, different from the blank bullets. Can you tell us how many live rounds you had each? Sorry, there's no interpretation. Is it good? We did not receive any interpretation. No, for his offer no more. I'll do the king kung in now kung kina. Life round jelly be blue corner. Uncall for the life round me more bullye. Mangasina nan le mangasina mangasina case ten sabalasuro. Each one of us was having four magazines, and each magazine is each magazine takes thirty bullets. Those were the life rounds. So to be clear, each of you had 120 live rounds and 16 blanks. Is that correct? Yes, that's the truth. Were you given specific instructions regarding the live rounds? He told us categorically that nobody should use live rounds. The reason for giving us the blank bullets is that 
When we go there, if it becomes necessary, we use only blanks. Well, considering that those were his instructions, did he take away your live rounds? No, he didn't take the live rounds from us. So you were simply told to use blanks when necessary, but you were allowed to carry live rounds. Well, does it whenever you are at the QRF, you are always having live rounds. That is always with us about uh, 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 we were supplied these 16 blank blades in case when we want to use it. 16 blanks are not a lot, is that correct? Well, it's a little bit many because uh, we, we, the, the amount of people going, we were many, and each of us was given 16 blanks. That's enough. So you felt that 16 was enough because a lot of you were going? Right. Yes. So how many of you um, proceeded to Makati? Makati. Because I didn't count how many of us were going, but it was two trucks filled. They were not big trucks. Uh, they were these small trucks, but it was two trucks which left. You told us that there were about 32 or so of you gathered at the QRF. Is that correct? Yes, that's it. Uh, uh, but after he, after later on, he divided us into two groups. So two roughly equal groups, is that correct? I'll tell Yes, the two, the two groups, uh, not all of us went. Some of us went, but the others stayed at the QRF. I'm trying to get an estimate of roughly how many of you boarded the vehicles. Was it more than 10 of you? Yes, we were more than 10 people. Was it more than 20 people? No, I was well, it might be 20 people, but not more than 20 people. Thank you for that. So, so can you tell us um, what happened next? Where did you, around what time did you leave Farafenye? When we left Farafenye, we went to Brikamaba. Can you tell us what time you arrived at Brikamaba? Arrived at Brikamaba at night. It was around 8 to 9 o'clock. What happened when you arrived at Brikamaba? When we arrived at Brikamaba, the commander alighted from his vehicle and he talked to the policemen on the ground. He came back and told us to alight from the vehicle, five of us. Did he tell you why? Fire falling he just told us to alight from the vehicle because there are students here who are preparing to stage a demonstration here. 
Are we still referring to the same commander, Captain Keita? Yes, his demand, Captain Keita. You said he told five of you to alight from the vehicle. You've already told us at the time that your rank was a corporal. Can, can you give us the names of the four other soldiers and their ranks? Girinjai. Uh, Girinjai was there. Um, Lance Cobrol. He was a Lance Cobrol. Kambi. B. Um, Private. Private. No, Lamin Kamara do from Dobeje. There was another guy called Lamin Kamara. And in uh, me, James, James, Manjako or that two Kabukuno. Well, the other guy, I cannot remember his name. He is a Manjago man. Maybe J something Mendy, JB or J Mendy. But he was in Liberia. But he later died in, in Liberia. We are the five people who alighted from the vehicle. So let's focus on the names that you've given us. You mentioned a grain jai who was a lance corporal. So Abdul Jai also known as Grain Jai. Lance Corporal. You mentioned a Kambi who's a private soldier. Who uh, was a private soldier? Can you tell us his first name? His name, his name is Aliu Kambi. You also mentioned another lamb in camera, lamb in camera who has the same name as you. Yes, sir. Um, please wait for the interpretation. What was his rank at the time? Prophet He was a private soldier too. So the way we can distinguish the two Lamin cameras on the mission was through their ranks. You being a corporal at the time, being a private. You being a corporal at the private soldier. You also mentioned um, a Mendy. You said J Mendy or something like that. J Mendy, yeah. J Mendy. You Mendy to J Mendy. I will J B Mendy. That's the man, J B Mendy. In your statement, um, it states P J Mendy. Ah, P J Mendy. Is that correct? It's correct. Uh, yes, uh, that's what that's what's correct. P J Mendy. I know that you understand English, uh, Mr. Kamara, but um, please allow th for the interpretation before you respond. Okay, Mom, we're... Yes, I didn't hear. <laughs> um, you said that he's late and he, um, he died during... Um, in Liberia. Is that correct? Is it Liberia? Abantale and Abanta for Liberia and Fotonia. Ah, well, I'm Tonya. That's the truth. I'm trying to seek clarification because in your statement it says DAFO. So I want to make sure we have the right person. Go after the Purijan Yesene, I got to come out of Memus, Memus, Members of the Road, Memuela Statement, or Membeja, Wellmu, DAFO. So I'll have to prove Yesene. Ah, more like a father DAFO. Yes, he's the man I'm talking about. He died in Darfur. Thank you for that clarification. What was his rank at the time? Yeah, Barka Bagelo Senandi Rodom. Say Munamala Makamori or Jamanola. Private soldier. He was a private soldier. So, out of this group of five soldiers from Farafenye who arrived at Brikamaba, Koninkafu Konomuno Nulo Menubota, a Farafenye Kana Brikamaba, you were the most senior. Is that correct? Uh, so who was the leader of the group then? I was the leader of the group at the time. 
You told us that you came from the engineering branch. Yes, we were under the engineering section. Yes, they employed me to do that job. I think I mentioned it here before. Yes, you did. What about the other four? Um, what part of the army were they from? They were infantry soldiers. So when you alighted at Brikamaba around 8 or 9 p.m., can you tell us what you did? After arriving at Brikamaba that night, we sat down for a while. Then I informed my colleagues that what we should do now. Let's go to the Alkali's place. So far there is nothing happening around here now. Just a second. Okay. Sorry to interrupt yes, you. Prior to um, departing from Farafenya Barracks, you were told that the students at Brikamaba were demonstrating and um, destroying things. When you arrived, did you notice any kind of demonstrations or destruction? No, we didn't uh, realize any destruction. We didn't find them doing any destruction. You said you alighted. Did you go to a particular place um, in Brikamaba prior to what you're about to tell us? Yes, we went to the Alkali when we arrived. Let me be more specific. Did you go to the police station? Before you went to the Alcalo's place. For Altar Police Station, not the bank. Then I'll be the Alcalo. I'm going to Altar Mindo. I'll be the Alcalo. Yeah. I'm going to the police station. Not all. The vehicle dropped us at the police station. Me wole to see. That's where we were sitting. Can you tell us who the um, station officer at the time was? It must be either Babanding or Mamanding Fati. Can you tell us if um, the station officer provided you with any information about what was happening at the time? Ako, Utembo, for. When we alighted from the vehicle, he discussed with our commander. So when we arrived, we also asked him what's happening here. He told us that students wanted to stage a demonstration here. And there is a teacher here who is teaching at the secondary school. They said they are going to kill that teacher. So when we alighted there, the question we asked, we posed to him. Do you know how many schools were in Brikamaba at the time? There were two schools at Brikamaba at that time, the primary school and the secondary school. And so when he told, when the station officer told you that um, students wanted to kill the principal, and that they wanted to stage a demonstration. What did you do next? Then 
Then we went to see somebody, a man. He, he, he is a CID officer. He is he, he stationed at the police station there. We asked him where the compound of the alkali was situated. We all got up and went to the alkali. Can you tell us the name of the CID officer that you spoke to? Yes, his name is Fakeba Dabo. So did you uh, make it to the Alcalo's house? So when we went to the Alcali, we gave him the word that he should talk to the uh, school children uh, to stop what they wanted to do. Who spoke to the Alcalo? I talked to the Alcali. Do you recall his name? I cannot recall the alkali's name, but his sole name is Fati. After you told him um, the purpose of your visit, what did he say? Bring Ali Allah Tanim Kuning Fire, Allah Dalilo Mendemana, Alamuna Imuna Fali. Alcalo in your phone, you come with Diamulina, Alta Kotel Elasato, Kambane Keba. He, he said he, they will talk to the school children and there is somebody there who happens to be the group leader of the youth in the village. So what did you do after that? We went to that uh, youth leader. We told him the same thing. Then we came back. Do you recall the name of the group leader? No, I don't know that man's name. You told us that all of you went, meaning all five soldiers. Did you go with anyone else? All five of us went to the Alkali and all five of us went to the youth leader too. You mentioned a CID officer called Fakeba um, Dabo. If CID officer do of two for the mentor Fakeba Dabo. Did he go with you? Well, an an altar da ba blada no ma ba. Bahani abam blada no ma or aige ita ni nele. No, he didn't accompany us. He just showed us the location of the Alkali's compound, but he didn't go with us. And what about at the group leader's home? He also told, that, told us that he will talk to the students. Was Fakeba Dabo at the group leader's home? Fakeba no, he didn't go to that place also. He just pointed the compound to us, uh, telling us that that's where the youth leader lives, but he didn't go with us. When you, um, after having left the police station, gone to the Alcalo's house as well as the group leader's house, did you see any other soldiers in Brikamaba apart from the five of you? No, we didn't see them. Well, if there were any other soldiers, I didn't see them. So as far as you know, you were the five soldiers in Brikamaba, correct? Yes, that is what I think. After the group leader's home, where did you go next? We came back to the police station and sat down there. Around what time did you arrive at the Brikamaba police station? Around 4 o'clock. Was it well we came back from Farafa Jinfo? Or? Uh, no, the question is, 
When did you go back to the police station? After you had gone to the Alcalo's Al house and the group leader's house. Well, it didn't take us long. It, it didn't go beyond 30 minutes. Can you give us an idea of the time? When we arrived at Brikamaba, it was after 9 to 10. When one can take it that it must be around 11 o'clock. At the Brikamaba police station, Brikamaba police station, did you see anyone who was arrested in connection with the demonstration? No, I didn't see anyone there. Did you have an opportunity to see um, the area where detainees are held? In the police station or somewhere else different from the police station? In the police station, did you have opportunity to police see station. either the cells or some other area where so detainees are held? No, I didn't see anybody around the police station who has been arrested. The commission has received um, testimonies from different witnesses. Indicating that at the very least two people were arrested and detained that evening. The head boy and the assistant head boy of Brikamaba. Well, I don't know. They might have been arrested and released before we arrived, but in our presence there, nobody was arrested. So your testimony is that from around 8, 9, 10, 11, no detained um, persons were at the station. Well, I don't know because I didn't go right into the police station. If that is the situation... Uh, or the cells, I didn't see that area. I didn't go in there. So this is why I don't know whether there were people detained there. Were you or any members of your team involved in any arrests? No, I am not aware of that. Okay, we will come back to that point. What about the issue of a curfew? Did your group impose a curfew upon your arrival in Brikamaba? <laughs> Well, we didn't impose any coffee there. When we arrived after sitting for, us for some time, uh, then we said, okay, let's try and brew some green tea. Did you at any point that evening disperse any gatherings in Brikamaba? Honey, <laughs> No, we didn't disperse any group there. We have received testimony from the principal of the Brikamaba school. Mr. American Mendy. Mr. American Mendy. 
he testified that soldiers came into his compound and dispersed um, the students that were there. Sojarol nata ala korda ato ye karamundu dinnul janjang imenu be ala korda konon. Ngamen karam ready. Kabrim kera al al kalo ya. Musul be la 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 la. Feng al al kalo el suko nje. Musul iborra. Well, what I can attest to is that when we were going to the Alcalis compound, women were uh, singing religious songs inside the Alcalis compound. But the moment they saw us coming, they ran away. I told them that don't run away. We are not here for you people. Yes, that happened. The question is, did you go to the principal's home? I went to the principal or the principal. In order to disperse students who were at his home. Principal or the coordinator? Ah. 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 No, we didn't go to the principal's compound. Okay, let's move on. So you arrived back at the Brikamaba police station around 11 p.m. I called for the Brikamaba police station. Did anything else happen that night? Did anything else happen that night? No, that night, nothing happened that night. Can you tell us what happened the next morning? Yes, in the morning, the secondary school. He told us to go and to go after a teacher who was at the secondary school. Yes. What were you meant to do in relation to that teacher? He said that the students said that they were going to kill that teacher. He said we should go and pick him up and bring him to the station. What time was that? After 8 p.m. Immediately after eight, Sobanda, Kabri will. That was eight after eight. Immediately that after eight in the morning when we got up. Prior to that, did you at any point make any arrests that morning? Jenny war for what is sorted along Sobanda lab, Altoli, Arisro, Ale Arisro Kilaba. Dolma, Dolma Arisro Kil, Sobanda, you know. We didn't arrest anybody that morning. So no member of your team arrested anyone that morning. Is that what you're saying? Yes, we didn't arrest anybody. We will come back to that. So in the morning you were told to go to um, to the principal. Tell us what happened. Saying when we went for the principal, yes, that's where the quarrelling started. Well, when we said that we are going to go away with the teacher, the students said, why did we come to their school? Let's take it step by step, Mr. Kamara. Mr. Kamara. Uh, when you left the station after 8 in the morning, it was you and four of your men, is that correct? Uh. Were you carrying weapons? Yes, we all had guns, but the 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 ekoila mumfeng case weapon no case weapon the case weapon where the bullets are nga bondile nga mabudla i took it from my body and kept it somewhere 
What kind of weapons were you carrying? Comme on kilifa son sifa la bere bulonu. AK47. We were having AK47. Ola bentol bebu. That's what all of us had. You said you took ammunition, is that correct? Koy koy ammunition o ta, correct lem wo tonya lem wo dibang. Ata onko nga mabo. Yes, I kept it. We know that you had live rounds and you had blanks. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The live rounds are the bullets I kept. Why did you do that? Because case of you know, brand, no galo ko ninda ring indulando. Aske no nimboro le bolaje o ngamboro sotoje. Case webbing is something that uh, is uncomfortable when we are carrying it and i was thinking that where we are going we might be chased away we might be running away from the place and uh, it might be disturbing me that's why i kept it and i kept on blue mistake called the franca gafu gafu boisoli pour yey yela kes fe no bondi and it was also a mistake for me to tell the other people to remove their case webbings and keep them do you mean it was a mistake for you not to tell the other soldiers to remove their live ammunition? Yes. Um, can, can we have clarity on this? Because apparently the interpretation um, was not clear. Jang sene jang lafta jang sene andele. Aha. Ako eko ni mukete mistake quality puru mumfeng. Kesi wapi no? Kesi wapi? Aha. Kesi waka kemi nko no? Aha ngalo. Alam ikabule kamo. Aha. Jang. Aha. Yo wale wale mo be bala life round no be wale kono. So silang eko bira eko mistake tala kafu yeye talu mabo bangfo. Aha kwa mabo. Yes, it was a mistake for me to tell them to remove their case webbings and keep them away. Did, did you tell the other soldiers to remove their live rounds? Yes, that's what I'm saying now. Did they do that? They didn't do it, but when we went to the school... No, uh, one second, let's just focus on what you've just said. You said you told them to remove the live rounds, but they did not do it. Is that clear? Please wait for the interpretation. Uh, I made a mistake. I took off mine and kept and kept it, but I didn't tell them to remove theirs. We went until when we came back. That's the time when I informed them to remove their case webbings. Okay, now it's clear. Why didn't you tell them to um, remove their live rounds at that point? That's what I'm saying. So far, I took off mine and kept it. I should have informed them too, but I forgot. It was a mistake on my side. So even though you knew it wasn't something you would need, you forgot to tell your soldiers. Yes, but when we came back, after leaving the premises of the school, I told them to go and remove their case webbings and keep it. Um, let's let's focus. So you forgot to tell them to remove um, the live ammunition before you went to the school. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It was a mistake on my side. I didn't tell them to remove their case webbings. So tell us what happened when you arrived at the school. When we arrived at the school, when we wanted to bring the man, Bakeba went into the house. 
they discussed something before that um the new war. step by step when you arrived at the school what did you observe bring al furada karam moñu mu nekata la ko rosid laati uh, when we arrived at the school adol trakram mo ko nole we found some in the school there adol trabanda some were standing outside who were those people you want law moldi menu be yemenu taraje karam do dinni ngol they were students at that point did you and all your soldiers enter the school or not for what wala ite ni moñol soja ro ni ngal de dunda karam mo kono ni kono le bang fo han fo almandu ani be bandu karam do wollo da karam da to jiye le they all didn't we all didn't go in they stood at the gate and you went inside the school correct ko je do ite dunda karam mo karam mo ni kono to nyaade ba ha de dunda karam mo kono ni fa ke ba da bo yes i went into the school myself and keba fa ke ba da bo par fa ke ba dunda ka diamu tichani they both fa ke ba went into the house to talk to the teacher can you tell us where the teacher's residence is located within the school o fo isa fo no mole ticol ni ni la sabata dingirani ka fu da me residence abe sabata min do abe karam moy min do ma fanne la sabata la brikam karam mo abe karam mo ko no min do ma fanne aw karam mo be dami aha di ma fu gem class bi mo do karam ba ni dum da karam mo ko no mhm la la lef do man ding bu ngi mbe wala dum da dami well i don't know whether it's a resident or a classroom but if you enter the school it's on the left hand side of uh, uh, the compound When you arrived at the principal's um compound did you enter inside after the principal on in corridor ni ngono fal dunda kono tale bang ko mala fo principal o le bang i'm not sure whether he is the principal teacher le ndekal ni nya fo ni wala nya ma ko teacher do be je ko ba boutel well uh, but he is a teacher anyway and we got the information that the students said they are going to beat him thank you for that clarification oya barka e pour ila o senen ni yoro do So when you arrived um, at the teacher's compound did you enter the compound ko biringa la furata teacher nyin na korda bunda do korda do fal dunda korda iko dunda korda nyin ko no la ba ko la fo ko dam mo dam mo nano lo ta ko kram mo da ron bare nde ni fa ke ba fa ke ba dunda bungu ro nde fa lo ta bunda do yes when we arrived at the school my four colleagues stood at the gate of the school but me and fakeba dabo we went inside the school and it was fakeba who went into the room to talk to the teacher i want to clarify something well alafta kay fenne sene andi jam i understand that you said the students wanted to beat him and you also said the students wanted to kill him which well, one yeah, is fa- it i have fam nim fam ko e ko karamlo dino nim lafta li palale and no e ko lafta fala fana nim fulol jumal munem mun jumal en jumal ko makan jumal na fos won no ngam ngam ko le ko e ko ko e ko ba fala yes my first statement i said that they said they were going to kill him as well that's what i said initially wala kira ay wala fa tay wala fo ndeer that's what he told me but i don't know whether that's the truth but that's what he told me okay so thank you for that clarification koya baraka ba ngela o senan ni roto so it's um fakeba the cid officer who went and spoke to the teacher munda fakeba wala tata diamta e ticho nyi when fakeba came out what did he tell you bim fakeba findi ta nambanta e muna foye ah fakeba bira findi la ko ka banta am ka banta When Fakeba came out he told me that the teacher said he is not going anywhere. Did Fakeba give you any other information when he came out? Ha bra findi na bora wala Fakeba ki bar ko ten dilala ban bra findi na. Bra findi da ko when he came out he said ako karam no dinol ko be police station no janila. He said the student, the student said they are going to burn down the police station that's where they are running to. That's how we also ran with the students towards the police station. When you say you ran with the students, koniko al borta al ninkaramudo din ngol. Ni be borta ñola ha because me ka ñosa ba ngiele. Yes, we all ran together because we were trying to reach the station before the police before the students.
Were the students running in front of you as well as behind you? Well, we were mixed. Some were behind, some were in front of us. At that point, where were your weapons? The guns were hung on our shoulders. Did you or any of your um, soldiers at that point shoot your weapons? No, nobody fired a gun at that time. Apart from running, meaning you were running, the students were running, did anyone else do anything? No, we didn't do anything, nothing happened. We were just running so that we can reach the place, so that the students will not burn down the police station. Can you tell us what, what happened when you arrived at the police station? Police station. When we arrived at the police station, we were just running so that we can reach the place, so that the students will not burn down the police station. Can you tell us what happened when you arrived at the police station? That's the time when I told the, my colleagues to remove their web, uh, uh, webbings and, and keep them. What, what, what time when you start? That's the time when the stoning started. So let's, let's um, take it slow. When you arrived at the station, what did you observe? The, 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 the observation I had at that time was when we came back, we found that they increased, the students' number increased. But the police were inside the station, but they didn't come out to help us. When you saw the students, what, if anything, were they doing? Well, they were stoning. That's, that's what they were doing. So when we arrived, we, we surrounded the building. Can you tell us um, who was stationed where um, regarding your group? I was on the side of the road. The other one was on the other side. Who's the other one? Who's the other one? And on which side? And the other one who is of late now. Which side was um, Green Jai standing on? Green Jai, I don't know if I'm going to go to the house. Behind the compound. And um, what about PJ Mendy? Where was he standing? PJ Mendy, no, I don't know if I'm going to go to the PJ Mendy was the man with, the, with Green Jai behind. What about Aliu Kambi? Where was he standing? Aliu Kambi was the man with the Green Jai behind. Aleo Kambi was the man standing on the southern side of the police station. And lastly, where Kamara was, was the Lamin Kamara, um, private soldier? Lamin Kamara was standing on the eastern side of the compound. You said at that point you told them to put away their live rounds. <laughs> Did they do so? They didn't. They didn't remove their weapons. But you were the senior man on the ground. Yes. Wait for the question. Was this a suggestion or was it an order? Orderly, 
It was an order. I gave them an order to remove their web, uh, webbings. But they refused to do so. Yes, they didn't, do my, they didn't carry out my order. So tell us what happened as the students were throwing stones. How did your soldiers react? When the stoning became intense, Aliu Kambi was wounded on his head. Pijé Mendi was stoned on his leg. That's the time when I told Fakeba, I am going to go to the house and I am going to go to Help us to get those who passed, who, who went to Makati. So you were asking for reinforcement at that point? Amunda Ebe Sembe Lafanyi Ningo Lawotumo. Yes. Was there any shooting at that point? Ako Tembo, for Kido Kumata Lebang. Kido Kumata Mindo, Mbedaveng. Ha, Mbedaveng. Ha, Wadumo, Nyo Nke Nyo Nubung. Yes. Yes, the students were stoning and, and, and we were replying with blank bullets so that they can be far away from us. At that point, could you tell that what your colleagues were firing were blank bullets? It will be very difficult for me to uh, uh, ascertain to that. Because I told them to use only blank bullets. But if anybody shot anything there which was into blank, then that guy disobeyed me. Are you saying that as a trained soldier, you cannot differentiate between blank bullets and um, live ammunition? For I stood here and declared that. Said that I was an I am an electrician. The training I did. Food training all along. Aninka kido ka ka afanya aninka kogni wer koman kido kumakano o ni molo. The training I went through is how to march and how to handle guns. But gunfire, the sound of gunshots, well, I cannot differentiate that. When you give your answers, please look at me or the commissioners so that we can also see your demeanor. So at that point, your belief that the soldiers were shooting blanks was because you told them to use their blanks, correct? When they were shooting, well, I hope that they used blank bullets. That's what I told them. So that hope means that you couldn't have known if they used live ammunition, is that correct? Yes. Did you use any live ammunition? I didn't use live bullets and I didn't advise any one of them to use live bullets. How long did that shooting um, continue for? Oh, fire running! I want to get lazy. Fire running, mummy, because we're gonna kill a king in here. The shooting didn't take long, so because when I sent for reinforcements, you know, can I, you know, can I want to me now? When they were coming, in the motor flower, we're not ready. Pick up of flower. They came with two pickup vehicles. Wasanala pick up. Wasa came with his pickup. Balde also came with his pickup. Let's try to get a clear, um, clear testimony regarding the duration. Of course, my Jansen and the Puruka members, Miss Sujita, members, will learning a water, water, a water, a jam for 
You told us that you went to the school sometime after 8 a.m., correct? You weren't at the school for a long time, and then you went back to the um, police station. How far is the school from the police station? morning police station in the police station in the uh, the, the, the distance between the school and the police station? Well, it is a little bit uh, lengthy. The distance is a little bit lengthy. So around what time did you arrive at the police station before the shooting started? At the at the at the the police station. At the one hour because it can be one hour because when we were returning we all came running. So let's say around 9 a.m., correct? Yes, it's around 9 o'clock in the morning. Can you tell us around what time the reinforcements came in the form of Wasa um, Camera and Lieutenant Camera and Balde? The time they were arriving around there was around 10 to 11. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure of that. How were you able to tell the time? That time I had no watch with me. I had no watch with me. I had no watch with me. I just estimated the time, the time we took to go there and the time we came back. I just estimated, but I wasn't having a watch. It can be around 11 o'clock. So what happened when they arrived? Well, when they arrived, people, the students and people who were stoning us ran away. At that point, do you know if anyone was injured by, as a result of gunshot? Yes, two of my men were wounded. Let me repeat the question. At that point, do you know if anyone was injured as a result of gunshots? Well, that's not clear to me. I didn't go there to check and nobody told me because they ran away and left. So this is why I cannot certain I cannot ascertain too whether any one of any one of them was wounded. So can you tell us um, what you observed as the reinforcement came in the form of Lieutenant Camera and um, Balde? Well, when that happened, they ran away. They all ran away because when they saw that the soldiers' number increased, they ran away. At the time when the stoning decreased. Was there any shooting um, when those um, soldiers arrived? Yes, when those soldiers came, they were shooting with their guns even when they were on board their vehicles on arrival. Ah. Yes. Do you know the first names of Lieutenant Kamara and Balde? Lieutenant Kamara and Balde. If we have to follow it all found on never. Lieutenant Kamara and Balde. Wasa Wasa Kamara. But Kamara is Wasa Kamara. But Balde more more 
But I don't know the first, the first name of Balde. I know the surname Balde, but I don't know his first name. And do you know from which barracks um, they be, um, they came from? On the first time, for y'all know, Ibora barracks Jumal. Ah, Balde was from Basse. Like, what do you mean by Basse? Yes, Balde came from Basse because he was posted at Basse. Kamara be Kudang. Kamara was at Kudang. Do you know if they arrived at the same time or did they arrive um, at different times? They didn't arrive at the same time, but the time span between them is less than 30 minutes. Um, and do you know which group arrived first? Balde's team was the first on arrival. Are you sure about that? What happened when Balde's team arrived? Did they stop at the station or did they um, go somewhere else? Did they stop at the station? When they came, they didn't stop at the police station. They went up, uh, they passed us and went in front when they were firing. And later on came back. The other team also, when they arrived, they didn't reach the point where the first team went, but they also passed us a little bit and came back. They came back. But when they came back, they were all on board their vehicles. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I don't know whether they might have gone to other parts of the uh, village. Ah, that I'm not aware of. But what I saw, that's how it happened. So as they were coming to Brikamaba, there was shooting going on and the crowd disperse correct yes that's the, when they when they arrived with shooting that's the time when the people dispersed and ran away what did you do after they arrived it is ale mune ye mune ke biri furata biri furata yeah when they arrived what we did we were not doing anything because by that time we were all tired. Did you remain at the police station or did you go somewhere else? For you to the police station or drawbang for you to the door door door. Ah, ndebang nde 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 bara ye nde ara fengko jube gamtel. I left there and went to the gamtel because modo be je waya fengko gamtel fengko njim buto njia boindi. Because somebody informed me that the gamtel boot was vandalized until the 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 Boost it down. Did you go to Gamtel on your own or did you go with um, the rest of your soldiers? Yes, I went with one of our one of my colleagues, Kambi. Can you tell us what you observed when you arrived at um, the Gamtel building? What I saw was that the boot was pulled down. It was lying on the ground. The glasses of the building were all broken. Ah. Yes. Did you observe anything else apart from that? No, that's what, what I observed. Do you know who caused that damage at the Gamtel building? Oh, no, 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 I cannot say that. After that, what happened next? After that, bring that out around 12 mafang. 12 or half of one mafang. Well, this happened around 12 to 1. I can say it, was, it was around 1. That's the time when the captain came. When the captain arrived, do you recall if you had prayed um, the afternoon prayers or not? Yes, that's the time when I prayed the two o'clock prayers. Was that before he arrived? 
before Keta Janning Ah, Janaka Fura. Yes, before he arrived, he prayed. So that would have been the two o'clock prayers, correct? What do you say to the two o'clock prayers? I ask you, I ask you, I Well, it might be exact time for prayers, it might be before, but I prayed anyway. And so when um, when the captain arrived, can you tell us what happened? I was going to captain on your foot. I was going to get the captain. I was going to I went to the captain. Captain called me. I went there. He asked me what happened here. I told him that well, uh, we suffered here because these people are their numbers are more than ours. I told him that well, we suffered here he said, is that the only thing that happened? I said, well, that's what I've seen. He told me, no, somebody died here. He told me, two people died here. I said to him, but I didn't see those people. I said, and the captain told me, well, this is what happened. But, uh, I, and I told him that, well, if that is the truth, then our mission has failed. Because that shouldn't have happened. And he didn't tell me anything else again. Then I returned to my colleagues. Was that Captain um, Babukar Keita who you referred to earlier? Yes, Captain Babukar Keita. Yes, that's Captain Babukar Keita. So when he told you that two people had died? And you said, well, that means your mission failed. Can you tell us what measures you took as a result of that information? Yes, the measures I, I took, I returned to my colleagues. I asked them. Who fired life bullets here? They said nobody fired a life bullet here. I said no, that's impossible. Because rubber bullets Because rubber bullets don't kill people. Tell me who fired life bullets here. Let me inform the captain before he leaves. They said they didn't fire life bullets. I I checked their blank rounds. Some people had already finished firing their blanks. Which people had finished firing their blank rounds? They are my, 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 my colleagues, my boys. I need to know which one of your colleagues had finished their um Blank round. Many Well, their blanks were exhausted, but I'm not sure whether they fired live rounds after that. Um, Mr. Kamara, just a second. Um, this has to be clear. You said that you checked your colleagues' blank blanks they're blank bullets bullets and some of them had exhausted their blank bullets my question is which of the four had exhausted their blank bullets giri had exhausted firing his blanks one of his magazines was missing. I don't know whether he threw it away or what happened to it or it got One lost step at a time. We're focused we on the blanks. blanks. Because we have but Apart from green, did anyone else exhaust their blank bullets? Green, green. For the Yes. Who? Juma. Juma. Kambi. Kambi. Uh, Kambi finished firing his blanks. So those were the only two who had finished firing their blank, blank bullets. 
Yes, they were the two who exhausted their blank bullets. Did you check their live rounds? Yes, as for live rounds, we are given to them at the camp. And the commander warned them that nobody should fire live rounds. This is why they were given blank bullets. And they didn't check that. But when we came back, so you did not check their live rounds at that point? At that point, yes. Yes. As the leader of that group, didn't you have an obligation to check their live rounds? Yes, that's quite true. So why didn't you do so? Why I didn't do it? The live rounds. If you take it, you take it from the armory where the guns are all kept. So when you come back, you have to return those live rounds. And when you turn in those live rounds, they check it. If even if anything is missing, they will know that it's your responsibility so and they will know why. Well individual drill. That's why I said that's an individual drill. So you accept that you should have checked, but you didn't? And your explanation is that it would, have, it would be checked later on at the armory. Right. Yes, that's what we are saying. The, the, their live rounds were checked at the armory and they knew. What about the weapons? Did you check the weapons at all? Yes, that means they have fired their guns. So you checked for only the blanks, okay. not the live rounds or the weapon, correct? Okay. Yes, but I informed the commander about that when we came. And what did the commander say? Commander well, that's the commander's responsibility. Well, the, my responsibility was to inform him that this and this happened. So after that, it is also the commander's responsibility to take up things from there and, and go ahead with what he should do. Indeed, we want to establish where your responsibility stops and where that of the commander begins. You've already told us that you failed to tell the soldiers to put away their live rounds initially. Yes. You said the second time you told them to actually put it away, but they disobeyed your order. And on this third, third occasion, you failed to check the ammunition, the live rounds, but you checked the blanks. At what point did you inform the commander of um, the checks that you made? What did you mean? Your commander in Kalamuda, your corosive role, Menke. What did you mean? Yeah, fire. Ka Kalamuda. Kabre nata, nga fire ne ko nyula ki fianko manki dal. Well, well, well. Membe amari ofana chega nata fire. Ole mu blanko damandi. Ah, kesol, kesol. When we came back, I informed the the commander 
And uh, when they went to the armory also, they were checked and discovered that some were missing. How much time did you spend in Brikama Bar before you returned to Farafenya Barracks? Ko, ale wari jeleke Brikama Bar, janning albe bola Brikama Bar kana muru nam Farafenya. Abri wako banda golo. Well, we came back the same day. Ani ndara kudang. Then we went to kudang. Ye ye call kana iko nga muru Brikama Bar. That's the time when they called and told us to return to Brikama Bar. Ndara je for two weeks. We went back to Brikamaba and we were there for two weeks. Ah. And after two weeks, you finally went back to Farafenya Barracks, correct? And that was the point where the weapon, the ammunition, the live rounds were checked at the armory. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, when we returned, yes, that's the time they checked. But already the commander had known. During the two weeks that you spent in Brikamaba, mm. did you or any of your um, soldiers shoot your weapons apart from what you told us on the 11th of April 2000? <laughs> No, well, he initially said no, but well, he said he didn't, he wasn't aware of that. And I didn't hear from any one of them. Sorry, just to be clear, you're saying in the two weeks that you spent at Brikamaba, after the events of 11th April 2000, Neither you, nor any of your soldiers, as far as you're aware, shot their weapons. Correct? Yes, I said I was not aware of any one of them shooting after the incident at Brikamaba. So tell us what happened when you arrived at the armory at um, Farafenya Barracks. Was it when we returned back to Kasenam Farafenya? Yes, indeed. Oh, yes, when we returned back to Farafenya. We returned our weapons to the We returned the bullets. They discovered that Giri, one of his magazines was missing. Was the entire magazine missing? Yes, the whole magazine was missing. You already told us earlier that there are 30 um, bullets in a magazine, correct? Yes, I remember that. Upon discovering that um, Green, also known as Abdunyai, Upon discovering that an entire magazine of live rounds was missing, did you take any action in relation to that? Well, they said he was going to pay for it, and he was charged. One step at a time. A point of clarification. You said that the only person whose live rounds were missing was um, Green. Does that mean that all four other soldiers had their live rounds intact? Yes. So did you report this information to your commander, that is Captain Babukar Keita? Yes, sir. Yes, I informed him about this news. Yes, sir. Yes, I informed him about this news. What did he say when you informed him of that? 
a kuonyindo ah nga frenda ma le wala bente kan nga frenda ma askeno anara sinio ba non le ya fa askeno ana bara ma fim fonde well after informing him he didn't tell me anything is a possibility that he did something with his senior men but as for me he didn't tell me anything so he did not tell you anything about any measures that um he would take munta mon fem voye je do ko atbe nyi simfaja simfanya dale tala ko nyinto yala ya kabri nga fa ay de ko ba chagile well nga nga fa jere ko ya chagile when when i informed him he said well they will charge him that's what he told me he said they'll charge this will day i need i need to um i need clarification there ko ala fatal buri ja yesana ya ma domande initially you said ko follow follow ya fo ko when you informed him buri ya kala mutande he did not say anything to amam fem fo amam fem fo ah yes and just now i heard um the interpretation say he said he would be charged meaning green would be charged ko sai ndenga kan nasoro ra memo je na senera ko memo wala min di ko iko iba charge la le ga tumi la be tumi ro la la kan na ko nyin aha fo akere nyaadi le malakere yone bara nyin ni ne fonte ko abe charge le yes i don't know what happened later but he told me that the soldier will be charged do you know if bring me excuse me <laughs> drink <laughs> mhm mm yes i'm ready Uh, Mr. Kamara, another point of clarification. Mr. Kamara, dala fa nam be nyala fa pro ye senea. How many bullets were mu were missing from Abdunyai Green's um ammunition, the live round? Kese jelle fili da Abdunyai ka fa me gri ala a kese boro nyi ngono. Kese kese ta sa banin kili. He missed 31 bullets. And that would be a magazine. ko be kala magazine magazine o ke sitan sa bala ba ko no the magazine carries 30 bullets and nun to nga fo ko nga ke so nga fen ko jube la ke so kel ne manke reje and after checking uh, there was one bullet missing in the magazine the magazine carries 30 bullets ha. and one was missing from the magazine magazine ka kese tan sa balata andu kil mankita magazine ni kono or one more bullet was missing apart from the 30 rounds in the magazine ko kilinda mankita kilinda mankita je ni nga boro tan sa bo ni kono ha yes which one is it it's not clear to me ko jumale ni ko mako fulo ko jumale jumadi aman sene ama do mandi you said a magazine was missing koy ko magasino le mang fili tan you said one bullet was missing as well koy ko fu nan ko kese ki lim fa nan fili tale does it mean that green was missing 31 bullets po akoto mu ne wolam green e kese tan sa bay wala fili ba bari nga wala fa nan fa ya lo ala fta men sene andi la jang ya lo e ko magasino ko kese tan sa bale ta ye nyum fo nun ko magasin mu me o fili ta yo magasin do nyin kese klin ne bota ko Ah to ala fotole ka ko endi la wala na ko kese tan se ba ling clean ne filter aha kabringa a ke jole a ke gela mhm kese clean ne filter bar kabring na eh amori aha ko le a ke go manga sino filter akam na manga sino ne kese clean ne filter yes exactly the man lost a full magazine and after the check up at the amori they discovered that another magazine was uh, uh, one bullet was missing from another magazine making 31 bullets missing and those all belong to green is that correct ko all be mentamu wodi wolam green di photo yale yes sir yes sir so that is one magazine and one additional bullet wolam magazine kilindi and kese kilindi 
correct? Yes. So do you know if any action was taken against him in relation to the missing bullets? Well, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't aware of anything that took place after. My duty, I reported it. Whether they took action or not, I don't know that. I want to be clear because I heard interpretation saying he was charged. Mm. Yes, I said that, that they will charge him. said they will charge him. But after what? Whether they carried out the charge or not, that's what I am not aware of. Thank you for that. Do you recall um, testifying before the Commission of Inquiry? I'm referring to the April 10 and 11 Commission of Inquiry in 2001. April 10 and 11, 2000, April, uh, Commission of Inquiry in 2001. Uh, yeah. Ako 4 is 2001. Yalo, yeah. 10 and 11 April. Uh, 4. Uh, Yes, I went there to testify, but when I started, they stopped me. I didn't complete my testifying, and they stopped me, then that's how it ended. But you did provide some testimony at the time, correct? No, I didn't say anything. I just went there. Purka Safi. Purka Safi. Ya Safi Leban. And Imma Safi. No, they told me to write and I didn't write anything. Ah, Imma Fu Nya write from. Imma Fu Efen Safi. So, Mune Keta, Imma Ndiya Mu Iman Safi Roke. Yang Kumandi Lume. Ah, the day they called me. Olune Yen Sam Bandara Si Stage O. A Stage Mal in Yala. It was just like a stage. When they called me, they took me to that stage. And I, they made me sit down there. Yeah, start And that's the time they told me to speak. They asked me. Let me say what I know. But before I can complete, they came and told me to stop and, and come down this uh, and step down from the stage. Uh, yes. So what I'm trying to establish. Mm -hmm is that before they stopped you, you Gen provided some testimony to Gen them about what happened. Ya, ya ya Mbola, when I was called here and Senghor asked me, do, do but the first one didn't take place. And I'm okay. No, that I'm, one didn't. I'm referring to a different commission. commission. They never did that. So after the events of April 10 and 11, 2000. April 10 and 11 is mem katab karamuro dinne allo balam bayadi. The government set up a commission of inquiry to look into those events. Man sakunda mem be nunjang yek na na commission wala londi purka kool nyun jube o karamuro dinne allo balam bayani nne kuo nyun akera nyame na na commission wala londi akuo rong. Ah, yes. And this commission was not long after the events of April 10 and 11. Do you recall appearing before that commission to testify? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I went there to speak. Yeah, here, when I came here, I, I gave them my statement, it was written. But that first commission, that didn't happen, that didn't happen.
Yebirin nara. When I came, yen samba babukar babukar jata lea. They took me to babukar jata. Aning fengke. Aning juma. Captain no ngamre ala two IC bagi. Babukar jata babukar jata and his two IC. Bagi bagi bagi. Sangkare sangkare. All letter of Soto. They are the people I found at the office. They asked me and I talked to them. I went along with I went with an officer called I forgot the name. He's a tall and fair colored person. When I arrived, they told me to climb up. And they came, they started asking me. Many people came there and they asked me questions. Some were even insulting me. They told me that I was telling only lies. Uh, four students they brought those four students who also questioned me yes this is what happened there I was there another person came and told me to come down from the stage when I came down I went back again with the officer then I didn't hear anything about it again when you appeared before um, Babukar Jata and others, did you tell them exactly what you have told the commission here today? When I arrived there, Nara for head corridor daro. Ani ako biri tata je yekmo sata ja nyaming. Foya sata ulufana le wole nyama bambiri e nyinka. Nko la foya kabiri mfara je ko itulko ngasi ko ngata. When I arrived there, they told me to go. Gano, Gano ni wole fanga tata je Gano. Yes, I went there with Gano. In Gano le tata. Ha, ni wole tata je. I went there with Gano. So biri ni futa tata je. Yalo iko e nyinka le. Ha. Ye nyininka kumolu menula amunta ye menu fojang ye nyininka tumo mena yo kuma kilingol le fo le fana ye bang no kuma kilingol le fo yes what i narrated I... here is exactly what i narrated to them when they started questioning me at that uh, uh, commission i'm going to send over a copy of the commission's report ako abe commission wala o commission wanyi o commission do amani ndo fa la ila reporto abakile ibesiri ndagendo. I just want you to see it, but I will read out from the report. Ala fitale rampuri inya inya si loa kang ba ya kumemba fudu na kono abakarane. After you've taken a look. Ni bo isi isi fransa jumbi. Mr. Chairman, I will be showing the witness exhibit 0083 at page 36. Abe kiamana dunia kiamana dunia kang abe iresiro abe komisiono ni na reporto ni abe tandile abe wale tandile la lera tansa tansa ni nisa banjau lera tansa ni nisa banjau abe yo iko nyali di malba karan ati would you agree that in 2000 your memory would have been fresher than it is 19 years later in 2019? Okay. 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 And in fact, you have just told us that you provided the same information to that first commission of inquiry.
I'm going yes. to read out the paragraph of the Commission of Enquiry's report, which concerns you. Mm. It is a summary of the evidence that you provided to that commission. Uh. After yes. I finish, I will give you a chance to comment on that paragraph. Mm -hmm. At page 36 of the report, it states, and I quote, Corporal Camera said he could not speak English, but understood it. His orders were given in English. He said he did not see any student with guns. And the soldiers and police were armed with guns. He said the soldiers he went with all had their ammunition intact and identified exhibit 38 the magazine of live bullets as live he said it might be that the deaths and injuries occurred before the soldiers from Kudang and Basse arrived. He said he returned four blank shots out of 16. He confirmed seeing the people arrested being laid on the hot tar road but could not say who ordered that. He said he regretted what happened at Brikamaba and what happened there should not have happened. The witness said he left Brikamaba on 12th April 2000 and learned of the deaths at Brikamaba at Kudang. Kudang and Basse soldiers, he said, came to Brikamaba around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 1 o'clock p.m. He said he was under the command of the SO. He denied that it was his group which did the shooting cause which caused the deaths and the injuries end of that paragraph paragraph what do you have to say to that paragraph mm. well me what i can remember what is the truth is what I, what I should say. Because I know that nobody will end up in this war. Every soldier, if you kill a person, God will uh, judge you on the day of judgment. If you are not afraid of that day, I think of that. That's why whatever I find myself involved in I go along with uh, my senses and I don't do anything which I am not ordered to do I don't do that 
because God's punishment is more painful than the human being's punishment. Even if I am caught today and whatever they do to me, if God's punishment is over me, that will never, uh, 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 that will always, that will ever take place. God doesn't take lightly with his human beings. So, life. Mr. Camera. Sorry to interrupt you. Yes. Okay. Okay. I just want to bring you back to the paragraph that I've read out. So that you can comment on it. Yes. 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 The sentence where it says, sentence or do we do in for call? He said the soldiers he went with all had their ammunition intact. Coin is soldier on them tara, Beni, Ila, ammunition, or Mela, Kidolin, Nila, Joran, Baby, a big Femma monkey. You have just testified before this commission, and doing sign sent a lacquey labor in Sila Menfound, Yafo Yanko, that the ammunition of Abdunjai, Green Jai, Abdunjai, Cafe, Green Jai, Ala, ammunition on Yala Kidoni. Was missing 31 bullets. Atela kiri 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 keso ni ngwe 31 keso wale manki taje. But your statement to that commission of inquiry. Bari la kuma kama tayari mendi wa commission door tono wamasa kunda adua mende nunjang. Is that all your soldiers had their ammunition intact? Atela soldier ol be mendi be atela maro koto ol be la kido ni la kido ni la keso ni be femba manki taje. Why did you tell the commission that? Mune ya sabu mune ya sabu yofu commission wa yofu commission wa. Yes, I've been going for coming to her. Ah, I'm a monkey. Ah, I'm a dear camera. I'm scared of mistake. Well, as I'm a human being, I might have made a mistake. That is a very serious mistake, wouldn't you say? Mm. Yes. Essentially, that mistake means that you were saying none of your soldiers could have been responsible for the deaths in Brikamaba. Well, what I can say that I wasn't aware of those killings. I didn't see. The question is about the live bullets. Prior to arriving at that commission of inquiry in 2000, you knew that the ammunition of one of your men was missing. That 31 live rounds were missing. And yet you told the commission that all your soldiers had their ammunition intact. Why did you provide them with that wrong information? Maybe. It might be that I forgot. But I don't want to tell lies. But you agree that the information that you provided to the commission was false. Yes. <coughs> yes, I agree. I will read out another paragraph from the Commission of Inquiry's report. And
This time I'm looking at page 35. And it continues on to page 36. The second to last sentence of page 35 says that quote, witness denied that his men used live bullets. And said he only learned that people had died over the radio. He said he could not confirm what killed the students. He said he merely carried his gun and did not do anything with it. He said his men were armed with blank bullets and they fired blank shots to disperse the students. Is that information accurate? <laughs> if, if that's what they said, then it is true. I didn't write this. I didn't write that with anybody, and I was not even a kalamata I was not aware of the time when they were writing this report. This is a summary of the testimony that you provided before the Commission of Inquiry. Yes. What testified When I was there at the place where I testified, So what more they in Kaito Safe? Never what more they have a bari. Aha, bari. No moment see prayers of any. Well, I think that's the time when they wrote this report, but I didn't sit down with any individual for him to write this report for me. As I stated, this is a report of the proceedings of the Commission of Inquiry. A coca full of yamin. In this report, you are denying that your men carried live ammunition. Why did you deny that fact before the Commission of Inquiry? Well, I asked um, my. Uh, I asked apparently, my there's an issue with the interpretation, so let me repeat that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why did you deny that your men carried live ammunition? When you have just told this commission that your men carried live ammunition. commission do Yalong iya so so le eko itela mul nin kese so be mantaje. Yo bari silang akumunan na nin komisono bi iya foko ila mul nin kese so be utata jele. Aka wole nin inka. Ngwala ko ito le ofu bari ndemo ofu. Well, he's saying he's saying that the, the the news that his men didn't go with any live rounds uh, uh, which he testified at the first commission. It's not true. He didn't tell them that his men didn't go with life rounds. Can life rounds fight? Ah. 
no fun but koi na manta je because momo ila 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 pakito ko wala bi life round le bi he said uh, everybody had life rounds with them when they were going i know what you've testified to this truth commission ko alon na yemen fo ni commission to nya commission to ja my question is aka men ni ninka wala min ko why did you deny the fact that your men carried live ammunition muna ya sabu yeso soro ke ko ila mol ila soja rol wol ning kese sobel manta when you testified before the commission of inquiry in 2000 me en wi alon ko e diamu ta commission on commission e melon de 2000 sang ko no para ka ro foite de ngo that's what i'm saying i said what are you here po gi so bembe bul the when we pouch my use ignore_time_segment_in_scoring The report contains one thing which is that your men did not carry live ammunition wala min ndiko ila soja ro be men nyaaton kaya kan be ni men be kafu kin wol man kese sobe wol muta do sotano whereas your testimony before this truth commission ndu nyin commission science be siri nyin commission me nyaati don la jante is that your men carried live rounds wala min ndiko ila soja ro nyin nyin kese sobe tadale andu wodo franga wala nga fo nyamal ko abe bulle bari ma ita yu ima yu well for the first commission in 2000 i gave them the same information that my men had live rounds with them that's what he said just now that is not the information that is in the commission report ko manki kibaro de be men sa fe ila karola men sa fe buko nyi ngono memo report de be babu da it states clearly that you denied that fact to okay, the commission aya dia senen dira ko fam fam ke ko ibalanta le ko ila soja rol nyin nyin kese so bel manta another point that is made in the commission's report ko point do fa nambe mi alon ko findita report ronyin ko no is that you only discovered the killings of students ite ite fratete la lolon do to karamo do ndingol nyin na faato when you were in kudang Whereas before this commission, you have told us that you found out at Brikamaba. Yeah, kalamuda karamuda dingo ni lafa ni yeah along Brikamaba le. From your commander. And we yeah you may yeah you London so remember you may have well we are commander. Captain Babukar Keita. Well, I've told you Captain Babukar Keita. and that all the previous commission also i gave them the same information that it was captain babkar keta who told me in brikama ba that students died well the commission's report says kudang but we have um we have the report and we have your testimony um commission wala report on ko kudang bare ngela kuma kan ni soto la yemem ifa na yemem fo commission ni commission do fa na nyaati no la ja I would like to lastly read out ko belaf la silanga ka ka fanado fanan kare report ronyi ngono nyaala bango to tan the commission's findings in relation to you and your men la commission on nunto e commission on melon de no man sakunda on benu jang ye men korosi la findings wala la korosi do e men di la ite to ani moñu do ila soja ro la so the findings of the 2000 commission of inquiry la 2000 sangono ila ite lo e men korosi The commission reviewed the evidence that was provided to them. And I'm reading from page 37. The last paragraph. Paragraph laban. It states and I quote. Eh we nyine fo and abi na wala karanna. At Brikamaba. Ko Brikamaba sa doto. The five soldiers who arrived in the town. So yar lulol men furata saata o nyin kono in the night of 10th April 2000 eh pred karotil tang eh suuto la 2005 kono led by corporal Lamin Kamara du meyo nyaato ga wolam corporal Lamin Kamara di and his men ana ala do nyulu should be held responsible wolle du wolle nyanna du no nyin beta la 
for the deaths of the two students. Seni Nyabali and Usman Sabali. As the evidence shows that the deaths occurred before the soldiers from Kudang and Basse arrived at Brikamaba. What do you say to that finding? Do you accept responsibility for the deaths that occurred in Brikamaba? Yes, as far as it was we who went there. And did what? Yes, I take the responsibility. You take the responsibility for the deaths of the two students in Brikamaba. Yes, Yes, I personally was not aware of it. But as far as I led the men who went there, if you are heading a team and those people became, become involved in something, then you take the responsibility as the head. So that's why I said I take the responsibility. Thank you, Mr. Kamara. Mr. Kamara Abarka. While you're um, in the trend of accepting responsibility, I know that we do not have much time. So I will read out a paragraph of a witness statement. And ask you to The statement of the witness concerns the activities of your men in Brikamaba. At paragraph five of the state paragraph four of the statement. Paragraph four statement on Yinkono. It states at around five AM in the morning. I heard a knock on my door. When I opened the door, I saw Fakeba and Green Jai, a soldier. Green was armed with a rifle. They arrested and escorted me to the police station. I met Hamadi Saw and Malik Jalo, Malik Jalo, our head boy and deputy head boy respectively. Paragraph 5. When I reached the police station, they started to interrogate me. They asked what, I have, what, what have I discussed. With the head boy of Bansang Upper Basic School. Bansang Upper Basic School la Karabundo Dino La Nyaronko. I replied that I have not discussed anything with him. Actually I was lying to them. It goes on to say I met Abdullah Damfa. Abdullah Damfa Terandi at the Bansan car park. And it goes further to say he, he asked whether we were planning to conduct a peaceful demonstration the following day. And I re replied in the affirmative. He also affirmed to me that they would do the same. And then the statement continues in the same paragraph to talk about the events at the police station when the witness was arrested. 
I'm quoting again. It states one can be. Alias Turkey's soldier. He is well known in the army. And he lives in Brikama. Was the first guy to throw a nasty slap. On me. All of them present tortured me. Lamin Sambus. Lamin Sambu. Hit on my face. Injured my right eye. The ones I can remember present. At this horrible scene. Where Green Jai. In brackets, then Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal. RP. RP. Now Staff Sergeant. Scientist. Makam member. Makam member. Bulu. Walam Staff Sergeant. Walam. Can be alias Turkey's soldier. Can be Yalon Ning Turkey's Turkey's soldier. Lam. Lamin Sambu. Anin Lamin Sambu. Lamin Kamara. Lamin Kamara. A sergeant. Sergeant. Walam. In brackets, he was now electrician. Bracket. Walam Ning Di Yalon Ning electrician. Walam Di Walam Kurang Do Gulalam. Sorry, he was electrician now. He was an electrician now. Under the construction unit. And my sibling brother. Private Paul J. Mendy. Private Paul J. Mendy. He passed in the first contingent to Darfur. 2003. I am not trying to back him in any way. But he never participated in the torture. I think he was surprised seeing me arrested. What do you have to say to this incident regarding you and your soldiers involved in torture? All the soldiers being named, they are not members of my group. When I was going to Brikamaba, I was a couple. Yes. That's what uh, is. Uh, Lamin Sambu is not part of my group. What about um, Gerinjai? Yeah, is my part of my group. What about Kambi? Kambi Lung. Kambi, uh, Kambi yes, Kambi is also part of the same group. And yourself, Lamin Kamara. Anita from Lamin Kamara. While the rank may, may be inaccurate, uh, it refers to a Lamin Kamara who was an electrician. Lamin Kamara may have come electrician that would be you, no? I can't do as a kid, no, I'm with it. Electrician do for me, yeah. Well, there are other electricians. As a kid, what I can do? It can be me. So far, they said it's me. I didn't arrest anybody. I didn't arrest anybody. I didn't arrest anybody. During that whole incident, I didn't arrest anybody. It also refers to, no, to another member of your team. Private Paul J. Mendy. Private Paul J. Mendy. Yes, I, I said yes. I mean, named him yes. He's part of the group. So you agree that this is four out of five members of your team? No, and these no. are regarding events in Brikamaba in April, on the 11th of April, 2000. April 2000.
He's asking who wrote this report. It is a witness statement. What I'm saying here is I never went to arrest anybody. Well, to be fair to you, let me find out if I can give you the name of the witness. Let me give you. Let me give you the name of the... He's asking who is that witness. Because we're in a public session. And this witness has not yet testified. The name has been written on a note. I will ask um, the usher to provide you with the name. And switch up the microphone. Microphone of a and he will tell you the name. I ask that you do not repeat the name. But at least now you know the source of the allegation. I do not know the person. I, I do not know this person. And your testimony is that neither you nor your men. And it took it a anila molu arrested or tortured any of the students or any individuals at Brikamaba in mm. April 2000. Well, I'm not aware of that. Thank you very much, Mr. Kamara. I have no further questions. Thank you for answering my questions. Mr. Chairman, I have concluded my questioning. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Just um, one quick clarification from the witness. Was he, without disclosing the name, but was he or wasn't he present when the witness said he was slapped and tortured? Mm -hmm. I was not there. Thank you. Um, Commissioners, if you have any questions, Commissioner Kinte, please. Commissioner Kinte, what are you doing? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Lamin Kamara, I'm going to say double one. One. Warrant officer one. You know, I'm going to say that I'm going to kill you. W O one. Eko repeat again, Mr. Kinte. Eko njai giri la kese tansa ba anin killing ole mankita. You said njai giri had thirty one bullets missing. Eko follow mba. Ha. Yes. Yo. Njai kese tansa ba anin killing o eko do mangasi na maling yalo mangasi noka kese tansa ba lesot. Ha. You send, he said that one magazine which contains 30 bullets. That whole magazine got lost. But the other magazine which was missing, only one bullet was missing from that magazine. Those magazines, a bullet cannot just escape by itself and fall down from the magazine. Koto wanyanta afale ene ko hani wo kese killing olem. Koto keso mensi mo fano afaiti elab mo lbul. That should show you that even if it is only that single bullet, which can kill a human being, has been fired. Omuto nyal deba. Omuto nyal olem. Yes, that's true. That's what I said. But koto killing olem mo lfe ko iti la mo lu killing man keso fai mensi mo fano. Omado fano omuto nyal deba. Well, they said you said. Your people didn't fire any bullet that can kill a human being. Is that true? Kafolem Tonya Tibang. 
how a magazine is made, a bullet cannot just get out of it by itself and fall down. If even a single bullet is missing, that means it has been fired. The orders, I, I, I'm not talking about them, but this single bullet that has been fired uh, can kill a person. Yeah, that's true. But if you kill a fanango or commission doto, Sanji Tanning Conanto or say commando, ko ilamulu killing mum keso of fai means a more fano. But you are the same person who stated that about 19 years back in that commission that not even one single person among your men fired a bullet which can kill a person. Which one is true between these two, two statements? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair uh, this question has been asked. And the witness's answer is on the record. I don't want the issue to be unraveled. Uh, perhaps maybe Commissioner Kinte can make his own deductions out of what the witness has said. Okay. Because he's did, he did state something. Okay. And it is on the record. Uh, okay. Maybe we don't go over the same territory again because the question has been asked and answered. Uh, that's just a suggestion to Commissioner Kinte. Betentena. I will continue. Na kansul kame mfu wale muindi yenye njabi la abe 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 sabati rimbul. Ah, nka ene ko. Ah. I said. Abe ote ba ndi la moli. Ndi a kufata ndi la moli lukundu wale yaki. Ah. My men were accused. I accept. Ah, ya no wo. Esabeng ala wale. Oto kami inko afote la moli lukundu wale anebata ala bari manso nko ya. Asototale. Oto esa nyantambula la nga tentendo mani. Niyaji nga ta nsotele. Please. Please. Yes. Please. Go ahead. Nko. Kuma fula lefot. Wolum. Iko te la molu man kese fai mensi mofa. In the previous commission, you said your men didn't fire even a single bullet that can take life. Bos umuto nyanti. Mayo ufole nu. Umuto nyanti. Yo ufole nu mbang. Ani mofa. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But be the year for it. But today he said you said it. Yes. Okay. What the volunteer he will lay down. The first, the previous commission. He will lay down. Ah. Fine. Karuga ngani ngere ngai. Ola munda la njenga karoto karola ukai tamu. Na bunda fula nyam. My second question. Me inde jakal wole munyenti ko keso mensi molu fa. Bullets that can. Ite mo konti bo fo mente molu fa nola. You didn't, you didn't check that. But you checked only for blank bullets. Hmm? That also has a reason. Uh -huh. If you are given bullets from the armory, when you come back, okay. bullets given to me by the commander, I know the amount of those bullets. My third question. Mangasina mume o memfilda. The whole magazine that got lost. Koral nata londula toko mangasino tombon talebang. Nuke se tansa wabakon. Did you ever find out whether the magazine was later retrieved with that bullet? Well, the witness is saying that he never heard of it. Hani bine na mamo. Mamo. Allah mo lufana mamo. Mr. Chairman, sorry, I can assist Commissioner Kinte on this point. Yeah. That information is within the Commission of Inquiry's report um, as an exhibit, well, um, exhibit um, 38. And so we will provide the report to um, the commissioners so that you can take a look up on, um, okay. Apologies regarding interpretation. No, no, right. So you right. can take a look at the report um, and assess it That's for right. well, It's important to scrutinize and, and exactly. establish. It's in the report. Uh, 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring I spent 36 years in the army. But in Sifal namanke Gambia ya. But things like this have never happened in the Gambia. But sign natra in Sifal be kega so amanka ante dam married. So jarol be but if things like this are are happen dale. Not only me but Mune many kela. soldiers will have Mune Mune kela. They will know what has happened and what should have done. What should they should have done. A anumbal dan la frang comme sona. I'm appealing to you. atol al nyanta limitation o e fenko sojaro nyanta menkela what should you should do and what should you should do because mo kanala ya foy that should be established in the army because somebody comes and tell you a foy nyinke do this o satra o o mantra ke o ta ke no and it can it can turn out to be that it should be done imam bu suru mi alan ko isa foy nyine be safari nyin nyin de kele ba fole ko Soldiers don't have books of rules. Ye kali wala. And they, they are sworn in into the army. Whether good or bad ni 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 yeme fo yenya ndakelal. Whether it's good or bad whatever they order you to do you should. Nal la fen ko si frano ro be be tiala ba. If you people can have that authority established that will be very good. Ah thank you mal jayi da mal tendula. Thank you my sincere thanks to all of you. Ali akini mamin ndul the good sense that you have instilled in us especially me i have observed a lot of things here. well from now on by the grace of allah nothing like this will ever happen to me and whatever i have done may allah forgive me yes that's what i have to say thank you very much mr kamara inumbara mr kamara for coming to testify before the commission. We na sedia ro la commission ko nyaati limula. We will adjourn our meeting today. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock we resume. Nde be ngob dal na jam bi sinin talantang so manda nga ben jam. Thank you very much. Meeting is adjourned.